Are you all happy today? Amen. How many of you have come here today saying, God, I want you to touch me? I was 16 years old when I first met with Jesus as my personal savior. Before that, you know, I was empty in my heart. But I begin to see how the Holy Spirit reaches out to those that are reaching out to him. I am not very old, but it's been 22 years now since I'm walking with God. There have been some good times, there have been some bad times. But God has always been good in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning, without losing much time, I want to go straight into God's word. I have a very important word that I like to share today. I believe God in these days is preparing people of destiny. People of destiny that are going to make a difference in their generation. When I look back as a 16-year-old boy, there was something in my heart that was longing, one cry of my heart that was saying, God, can you use me? It was not because I went to a conference alone. Whether I was in a conference or whether I was out of conference, everything in my heart was longing. For God. And I, was, I was telling God, God, can you use me? It is strange in those years. I had men of God coming to me and they would pick me out of nowhere and prophesy over me. And they would give all kinds of mighty prophecies. One of the prophecies I used to get all the time was nations. Everywhere I went, I got the prophetic word, God is calling you for the nations. You know, those prophetic words are great, but those prophetic words are also dangerous. Because <laughs> Because the moment you hear the prophetic word that says nations, you know, you imagine yourself wearing a nice three-piece suit, standing in a conference like this, and preaching in the nations of the world. And as the years have gone by, I have found out that God using you and me has nothing to do with the three-piece suit. I've found that it has nothing to do even, you know, even traveling to the nations. I've seen many great men of God and many people that God has wonderfully used. And yet we've also seen other people of God who had a great prophetic future yet destroyed their life. And it is my desire this morning that you're at your age when God is picking you up and calling you and equipping you at your age that you will learn the right foundations right now at the time in life that you are. And truly in Christian life there aren't very many great secrets. How many want God to use you? Yeah, how many want God to use your neighbor? All right, just tell them, Lord, Lord, use my friend of God. Lord, bless them. Bless them. Keep them. Use them. Send them to the nation. In Jesus' name. When you study the word of God, we see that many, many people had mighty call of God on their life. But not everybody was adequately prepared for that call of God. I want you to quickly turn your Bibles to 1 Samuel. And this morning I want to talk to you about some things that God has called you for a supernatural destiny. Say after me, I have a divine destiny. Say it again, shout it loud, I have a divine destiny. Shout it like young people, I have a divine destiny. 
Amen. 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 You and I are people of destiny. Tu un es mēs esam likteņi cilvēki. I believe it with all my heart. Es ticu tam no visu savu sirdi. When I was 16 and I got radically saved. Kad man bija 16 gadi, es tik radikāli glābs. Before that, by the time I was 12 or 13, around that age, I attempted suicide. Pirms tam, tā manam 12, 13 gadu vecumā, es mēģināju izdarīt pašnāvību. I was so empty with my life, I was looking for something to fill the emptiness. Es biju tik tukšs savā dzīvē, ka es meklēju kaut ko, kas varētu piepildīt to tukšumu. When one day I decided that it was not, I didn't want to live on like this, I wanted to take my life. Ka vien dienu es sapu, ka es negribu vairāk tā dzīvot, un es gribu izdarīt pašnāvību. But God had mercy on me. Bet Dievs apžēlojās par mani. God gave me another chance to live. Dievs man dev vēl vienu iespēju dzīvot. He didn't allow me to die. Viņš neļāva man nomirt. And as I look back through those years now, kad saskatos tiem gadiem tagad, I can't thank God enough. Es nespēju vien Dievam beigt pateikties. Par viņu pārpilnīgo žālstību. Ka es šodien esmu dzīves. That we're not living a worthless life. Kas nedzīvoj bezēdzīgu dzīvi. That, that through my life. Ka caur manu dzīvi. That I can be a blessing to many thousands of people. Es varu būt svētību daudziem tūkstošiem cilvēku. I know there are many among you. Es zinu, ka ir daudz starp jums. The Lord is telling this morning. Un Dievs saka jums šajā rītā. That God has set you apart with a holy calling. Dievs ir tev nošīts uz svētā aicinājumu. He has set you apart with a special call. Viņš ir nošīts tev ar īpašu aicinājumu. And that's why you have come from the nations. Tad jūs esat sabraukuši šeit no tautām. As I was a little boy, kad es biju mans puika, and I had just got saved, mēs bija tikko glābts. I remember in those early years we used to go for conferences. Tas arī tas agrīnijas dienās es mēs piedalījāmies konferences. And in those some of those conferences there were thousands of people that would pack those conferences. Un kādās tām konferencēm bija tūkstošiem cilvēku, kas sabrauc. And I'd be this little 16, 17, 18 year old boy. Un es kā mās 16, 17 gadus vecs puisis. But I didn't care who was hungry for God or not, I was hungry for God. Bet man bija viena, kurš ir izsaucs pēc Dievu, kurš ne, bet es biju izsaucs pēc Dievu. It didn't matter who wanted to go or not, I wanted to be there at the conference. Man bija viena, kurš vēl uzbrauks uzreiz vai ne, bet es gribēju būt tajā konferencē. And it's not because the music was great. Un nevis tādēļ, ka mūzika bija lielas. In fact, compared to your music, the music we had in those days was was sad. Parēcībā tā mūzika, kas mums bija tajā laikā, tā bija bēdīta. You guys do a great job over here. Jūs ar brīnišķīgi darbu izdarījāt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it wasn't just the music. Bet tā nebija tikai mūzika. It was the hunger for God. Tas bija tas izsaukums pēc Dievam. It was a longing in my heart. Tas bija tās silgas manā sirdī. That told me, God, if you can use somebody, I want you to use me. Kas man teica, Dievs, ja tu vari kādu lietot, tad lieto mani. So on one side, there was a deep desire for God. No viens pus bija tā dziļa dvēlma pēc Dievam. On the other side, there was a confusion about how I can walk in victory. No otrs pus man bija tāds samulsums, apiekums, kā es varu staigāt uzvarā. I long for God to open doors in my life that God will use me. Es ilgojos, ka Dievs atver durus manā dzīvē, lai Dievs varētu man lietot. But on the other side, as a young man, I had the temptations of every young man and woman that they go through in their life. Bet no otrs pus man ir tās paši skārnājums un pārbaudījumi, kas ir jebkuram jaunam pusiem vai meitenei. So on one side, the call of God is calling you. No vienas puses Dievs aicinājums man aicina. And yet on the other side, the desire for a victorious life is is telling you to walk, but you're not sure you want to get into this because of the fear of failing. Bet no otrs pus tā pārliecība, ka tev jāstaigā uzvaras pilnu dzīvi, Tā liek tev tā kā saigātajā, bet tu neesi pārliecināts, ka tu spēsi to izdarīt, jo tu kļūdīsies. But doesn't matter what you've been in your life. Bet vien nav, kas ir bijis tavā dzīvē. One thing I know. Ir viena lieta, ko es zinu. That the call of God on your life is irrevocable. God will not take it back. Ka Dieva aicinājums pār tautu dzīvi, tas ir neatsaņams. Dievs to nepiņems projām. Tell somebody God won't take your call back. Pasakāram, Dievs nepiņems prom tam aicinājumu. Tell somebody God will not take your call back. Dievs tam aicinājumu prom nepiņems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody God has called you. Pasakāram, Dievs ir tev aicinājums. With an irrevocable call. Ar neatņemamu aicinājumu. Doesn't matter how you sinned. Vienal kā tu grāko. Doesn't matter how you messed up. Vienal kā tu visu salai dzēlī not going to take that call away. Viņš nepaņem prom to aicinājumu. But what can happen? Bet kas var notikt? Is that you can stop your call. Ka tu var apturēt savu aicinājumu. If you don't live in the wisdom of God. Ja tu nestaigā Dievu gudrībā. More people stop God from using them than God stops people. Vairāk cilvēki ap, ap, aizliedz Dievam lietot viņus nekā ka Dievs beidz lietot cilvēkus. In 1 Samuel in chapter 1. Pirmā Samuel pirmā nodaļā. There was a certain man from Ramathim Zophim from the hill country of Ephraim. Bija kāds vīrs no Efraim kalniem. And his name was Elkana. Un viņa vārds bija Elkana. And the son of Jeroham. Un viņš bija Jerobam dēls. The son of Elihu, the son of Tohu and the son of Zuf an Ephraimite. Tas Elibus dēls un tas atkal Tohus dēls un tas atkal bija Efesīšu Zufu dēls. So we see, we see in the Bible there was this man called Elkana. 
And Elkanah was a man of destiny. His family was a family of destiny. He did not realize that the son born in his home was going to be the prophet of Israel. He did not know he was going to give birth to a child that was going to change the spiritual leadership of a generation. He did not not know that the child of his womb was going to be supernaturally used of God. In the same way many of us that are here, when we were born, maybe our parents didn't think much about us. My parents had one desire for my life. That I should be a successful doctor. And I should put up a nice practice in some corner of the world. And from the time I was a little boy, I heard one thing from them. You got to be a doctor. 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 But something in my heart was saying that I had a divine destiny. In that I had a call from on my on my life. I remember as a young boy. I would enter into the church that I grew up in. There was drauds kuras uzaug. I grew up in a in a small little Anglican church. Es uzaug mazā anglikāņu draudzītē. And you know we didn't have great uh, you know amazing teaching from God's word or any of those things in those days. Un mums nebī lielisko sludināšanu no Dieva vārda vai kaut kādas citādas tādas lietas. But I remember as a little boy. Bet tas uzaug mazā puika. I would walk into some of the church services. Es tikai kādās draudzu dokopojumos and they'd be singing the songs as usual. They'd be preaching the three-point sermon as usual. But as an unsaved little boy, I would see the presence of God in the church. In those days, I did not know how to interpret it. I did not know it was the Shekinah glory of God. And why would God Shekinah come in a place like that where you know people were just going on a church as usual? I was an unsaved little boy. But because I watched my family pray. There are times as a little boy I just sit down and tears would run down my eyes. And I never understood in those days that those experiences that I was having because God was reaching out to my life. That God was supernaturally reaching out through His Holy Spirit. That as a little child that God wanted to let me know Dievs gribēja, lai zinu, that, that ka viņa roka ir pār mūsu dīvē. Ka viņa, viņa svaidījums ir pār mūsu dīvē. Viņš gribēja, lai, lai mēs zinātu, ka Dievs savā godībā var mūsu lietot. Many of you in this place, daudz no jums šajā vietā, as you are seated here, Maybe you have felt God reaching out to you. Varbūt jūs esat jūtuši, ka Dievs sniedzās pie jums. You couldn't explain it. Tu nevar to izskaidrot. You couldn't, you didn't, you couldn't understand tu, what that was. Tu nevari saprast, kas tas bija. You know, you just, maybe you interpreted it in different ways. Tu var mēģināt to iztūkot dažādos veidos. But as the years went by, one day you have met with God. And as you look back through those years, suddenly the things that God was doing in your childhood begins to make sense in your life. The small ways in which God reached out to you. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? How many of you remember distinct instances in your life when you were smaller, you were not saved, but you felt almost as you look back that God was reaching out to you? In, in the old in the Bible, Bible, far fewer people had those kind of experiences. But in our generation, God is pouring out that kind of visitation on many lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you are preparing for that kind of a visitation. And as, I, as I go around the world, more and more I see people that are getting hungry for a visitation from God. So there was this man called Elkanah. And Elkanah had two wives. One of, one of his wife's name was Penena. 
Penina. And the other wife's name was Hannah. Und nur drei waren es Bianna. You know, and Penina had children, and Hannah did not have children. Penina und Bianna mit Anna in der Bibel. And uh, you know, even as you know, Penina had children. Und gab Penina in der Bibel. You know, Elkanah would take up the go up uh, early every year to worship El from his city to Jerusalem. Elkanah katru gadu devas augšup no savas pilsētas kalnu. Oh, I mean, to Shiloh. Uz uz Shil. Because that's where they gathered for worship in those days. And, and, and in those days, it was another kind of leadership that was there in the land. Eli, Eli was the prophet. And his two sons, Hophni and Phineas, were the sons that were ministering. So at those days, when people looked at Eli, Hophni and Phineas, Un tajās dienās, kad, kad cilvēki skatījās uz ēlu un uz viņu diviem dēliem, nobody imagined neviens nespēja iedomāties, that there was going to come a change of leadership. kad nāks izmaiņas vadībā. Halleluja! Nobody imagined that there was going to be a strategic change of leadership. Neviens nevarēja iedomāties, ka būs stratēģiski līdera maiņa. Because when people looked at Eli, ja cilvēki skatījās uz ēli, oh, he looked like a mighty man of God. Viņš izskatījās kā varens divu vīrs. When they looked at Hophni and Phineas, kad skatījās uz viņu diviem bērdāliem, oh, they were the blessed sons of the man of God. Viņi bija svētītie divu vīra dēli. So nobody imagined that God was going to change the leadership. Neviens nevarēja iedomāties, ka Dievs varētu mainīt vadību. I got good vadību. news for you. Un ir labas ziņas tev. God is not the respecter of any organization. Dievam, Dievs neuzlūkots organizācijas. I said God is not the respecter of any organization. Es teicu, ka Dievs neuzlūko nevienu organizāciju. Any organization that honors God Jebkura organizācija, kas godina Dievu, will be lifted up. Tā tiks paaugstināt. Any organization stands against the way of God Jebkura organizācija, kas nostājas pret Dievu, God will set them aside Dievs viņu no, viņu and smalās. God will raise up a new generation. Es teicu, ka jaunu paudzi. I said God will raise up a new generation. Es teicu, ka Dievs pacels jaunu paudzi. A generation that is hungry for God. Paudzi, kas būs a generation with a divine destiny from God. And, and I believe God today through your life is beginning a new move of the Holy Spirit. A lot of people say, brother, in my country God, there isn't a mighty move of God. Then maybe you are the person God wants to bring that mighty move through. Maybe you are the Samuel that God is raising up in your generation. Maybe you are the one that is born at a time when Eli and Hophni and Phineas are disobeying God. But when we are born, when we see these great men of God, we think in our mind, oh, I'm a nobody. You know, I, I don't think God can use me. And you say, you, you don't know what I, I'm going through. But not only do uh, do, does God know what you're going through? But God also knows your beginning from the ending. God knows what is going to happen at the end of your life. And I believe the latter days of your life are going to be greater than your former days. Amen. Amen. The latter glory of God's house is going to become a greater glory. Everybody say great greater glory. Tell somebody, get ready. Tell somebody, get ready. Get ready for a greater glory. Come on, shake somebody and say, get ready for a greater glory. Your people that God is going to use to shake the nations. Uh, at least start by shaking your neighbor. And then we will shake the nations. Uh, Shout it loud. Greater glory. Greater glory. Greater glory. God is raising a generation for greater glory. And I believe in our nation that every next generation is preparing for a greater glory. In my nation, it is like many nations inside a nation. We have millions or more, thousand, 1,200 million people. Mums ir 1200 miljoni iedzīvotāji. It's like many nations inside a nation. Tas ir tā kā daudz stauts vienā tautā. And as a young Christian I begin to travel and preach God's word around the nation. Un kā jauns kristiens es sāku ceļot apkārt par visu tautu un sunāt evaņģēliju. In my country I have had the rare privilege of having carried this gospel of Jesus Christ to almost every nook and corner of my nation. 
Man ir bijis tā retā privilēģija evaņģēlī, nezgan izvajas katru manas tautas nostūri. From north, south and east, west of my country. No ziemeņiem līdz dieviņiem, no rietumiem līdz austrumiem, par visu tautu. It is a big nation. Tā ir liela valsts. We have 16 major languages in our country. Mums ir 16 galvenās valodas mūsu tautā. We have more than 1,100 minor languages in our country. Mums ir apmēram 1,100 apakš valodas mūsu tautā. We have 1,200 million people in our country. 1,100... 1200 miljonu iedzīvotāju mūsu tautā. If I get on a train from on one corner of my country. Ja es iekāp vilcienām vienā savas valsts nostūrī. I have to go for four days to reach the other corner of my country. Man vajag četras dienas braukt ar vilcienu, lai nonākt valsts otrā nostūrī. That's how big our nation is. Tik milzīgi ir mūsu tauta. But God in his amazing grace. Bet Dievs savā pārsēdz var šajā žālstībā. Gave me the opportunity. Deva man iespēju. To carry this gospel. Šo evaņģēlī nes. Not because I'm a mighty man of God. Nevis tādēļ, ka esmu varens Dievu vīrs. But because I'm a child of destiny. I said I'm a child of destiny. And if God has got a plan for your life, God is going to fulfill that over your life. Not just because you're a mighty man or woman of God, but you are a child of divine destiny. God has a plan for your life. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you believe that? How many of you believe that? God has a plan for your life. And some many things come in our way to stop our destiny. The devil tries to throw things in your way to somehow stop you from your destiny. You know, Penina had children. And Hannah did not have children. And as they were going every year to worship God, and Elkanah would sacrifice, and he would give portions to Penena, his wife, un viņš deva daļu savai sievai un visiem bērniem. Bet, kad viņš nonāca līdz Annai, viņš Annai deva dubulto daļu. Viņš sakam dubulto daļu. Tagad saļ dubulto daļu. Dubulto daļu. Amen, it's a double portion. Even as he gave Hannah double portion, he gave Hannah double portion to somehow make her happy. Because she didn't have children. So that Hannah shouldn't feel bad. That she doesn't have children. But Hannah, as she was sitting there, she was still broken in her heart. Because Penina would provoke her. You know, one of the first things that can stop you from your destiny is the double portion blessing that God has put upon your life. Ir tā dubultā sveitība daudz, ko Dievs liek tavā dzīvē. In my nation. Manā tautā. We don't have many rich people. Man nav daudz, mūs nav daudz bagāto. We do, but our nation is so big that the number of poor are far more than the rich. Nu, mums ir bagāto daudz, bet mūsu tauta ir tik liela, ka nabagoja daudz vairāk nekā bagāto. I think somewhere like 40% of our nation probably don't have a square meal a day. Un apmēram 40% no mūsu tautas iedzīvotājiem nav normāli sēdienreiz dienas laikā. But yet everywhere we go in our nation. Visur, kur mēs ejam tas ir. In my generation. Manā paudzē. I have been begun to see people hungry for God. Es redzēju cilvēks izsaukši pēc Dievu. We begin to see signs, miracles and wonders. Es sāku redzēt zīmes un brīnumus. We begin to see ordinary people do extraordinary things for God. Es sāku redzēt, kā parasti cilvēki dar neprast lietas Dievam. There was this young lady from my college who met with Jesus Christ. No manas koledži bija kāda jauna meita, She came from a wealthy home. Her grandfather was a minister in our country. And as she began to, you know, she got saved. Before that, she was living a riotous life. But one day she got saved. And after, and she was also a medical doctor, trained medical doctor. But because she loved Jesus Christ, she got kicked out of her home by her family. Her family told her, you cannot stay in this house because you are following Jesus. You must either follow our religion or get out of the house. And they came from a very wealthy home. And so she made a decision to follow Jesus Christ. And uh, one day she, she, they said, get out of the house. So she took a bag and she was getting ready to go out of the house. You know, these are people that have grown up in our family. 
fellowship. Nu tie tie cilvēki, kas ir uzaugši mūsu draudzēs. People whom we taught the word of God. Cilvēki, kam mēs mācījām divu vārdu. People whom we stood with and prayed with. Cilvēki, ar ko kopā mēs stāvējām, ar ko mēs lūdzām. People that we discipled. Cilvēki, kam kam mēs devām māt pamācījām. When she was going out of the house. Tu viņu izdevās no mājas. Her family said, "Wait, don't go like that." Dimet tais pagaid, nei tā. They made her sign on a paper and give all her wealth back to the family. Viņi lika parakstīties uz papīru un atdot ja visu bagātību, visu, kas viņai piedarī atpakaļ ģimenei. And in her name alone itself there was a lot of money. Un uz viņas vārda viena bija ļoti daudz naudas. Besides the money that was in her family's name. Bez tās naudas savam finansējumam, kas bija ģimenei piedarīts. When I say a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. Ja es saku daudz naudas, es domāju daudz naudas. And uh, and she just signed on those documents and gave all her money away to them. Viņi parakstīja tos dokumentus visu savu naudu atdev atpakaļ. And she said I want to follow Jesus Christ and it does not matter what it takes for me to follow him. Viņi teica, es gribu sakot Jēzus un Kristu, man vien nav ko tas prasīs It does not matter what opposition comes in my life. Bet kāda pretestība nāks manā dzīvē. And then she was going out. Un tad viņi izgāja. On the way out they said where are you going? Leave that car key behind and get out of the house. Bet ceļam ārā viņai pateica, "Lūk, kur tei, atslēg tās mašīnas atslāgu šeit un tad tikai ej." So she left the car key behind. Viņi atslēri at mašīnas atslāgu. She got out of the house. Viņi izgāja no mājas. She picked up the phone. Paņem telefonu. She called me and she said, "Pazni manu teica. John, I'm kicked out of my house. I'm on the streets. Which way from here?" Jāni, es esmu izmests no mājas un es esmu zīles, kur man iet? And so we told her, I said, "Don't worry about anything. We'll take care of you. Just come and we begin to take care of her." Mēs viņai teicam, "Nē, uzrakties ne par ko, vienkārši brauc pie mums, mēs parūpēsim, mēs nokārtosim." And a few months later we sent her to Bible school. Pēc pāris mēnešiem mēs viņu aizsūtījām uz Bibeles skolu. And uh, you know, as she was growing in, in God's word. Kad viņa aug pieaug Dieva vārdā. One day God, you know, she went to the mission field. Viņa devās misijas, misijas darbā. And she began to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus has called not the Jesus Christ evangelium. Ah, you know when you begin to take the gospel of Jesus Christ very seriously. Kad tu uztver Jesus Christ evangelium ļoti nopietni. When you begin to carry the gospel. Kad tu sāc nest evangelium. The gospel will begin to carry you. Evangelium sāk nest tevi. When you begin to feed on God's word. Kad tu sāc baroties uz Dieva vārdu. God's word will begin to feed you. Dieva vārds sāks barot tevi. I remember I left home in the year 1997 for full time ministry. Es atrodos kad es 97. gadā atstāju savu mājas pilnā laika kopošanā. And when I finished full time by then I was already a trained qualified doctor. Līdz tam jau es biju pilnīgi apmācīts kvalificēts ārsts. I, I could have easily made a lot of money. Es būtu vienkārši nopelnīts lielu but naudu. But the call of God was eating me on the inside. Bet Dieva aicinājums no iekšienes man ēda. I used to tell God God I want you to use me. Es mēns teikt Dievam Dievs es gribu ka tu man lieto. At that time I had very little money in my hand. Tā laikā man bija ļoti maz nauda. And I left home I had an equivalent of about 10 dollars in my hand. Kad aizbrauc no mājā, man bija apmēram 10 dolāru kapitāli. I had 10 dollars and I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go. Man bija 10 dolāru, es nezināju ko darīt, nezināju kur braukt. And my God is such an amazing God. Dievs ir tik pārsteidzošs Dievs. I remember I went to join the local church and serve in the local church. Es atrodos pievienojos vietējai draudzei, lai kalpotai draudzei. And in those days my local church had money. Tad ja laikā vietējai draudzei bija nauda. So I was going to join as a minister in the local church. Es pievienoties kā kalpotājs vietējai draudzei. And the Lord told me. Kungs man teica. John, go ahead and join the church. Jāni, pievienojies draudzei. But don't take salary from them. Bet neņem algu no viņiem. Now that messed my mind up. Tas manu prātu. I have 10 dollars in my hands. Zlat šikarai, man 10 dolāru kapitāli. I'm joining as a full-time staff at my local church. Un es gribētu kā pilnīgi darbinieks savā vietējā draudzē. And the local church had money they could sell to everybody. Vietējā draudzē ir tā nauda, lai viņi varētu samaksāt algu visiem. The Lord told me don't join there. Bet es saka nepievienojies viņiem. For salary. Par algu zdē. I want you to join there and serve them for free. Es gribu, ka tu pievienojies draudzē un kalpo bez maksas. I said Lord who will put money and food on my table. Es teic kungs, kurš liks ēdienu un naudu uz manu galvu. When God calls a man. Kad Dievs aicina cilvēku. He prepares the man for that divine calling. Viņš sagatavo to cilvēku Dievs šam aicinājumam. Amen. 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 Do you believe that? Vai tu teici tam? Do you believe that? Vai tu teici tam? If you do shout a loud amen. Vai tu teici tam skaļi kliedz amen. God prepares you for your call. Dievs tev sagatavo tam aicinājumam. So when I joined I, I went ahead I obeyed the Lord and Tad, I joined the church uh, for you know without any money. Tad es paklausīju Dievam pievienojos draudzē arī bez naudas. For the next one year and three months I served with that church. Nākamo gadu un trīs mēnešus kalpoju tajā draudzē. And then the Lord sent me out to the mission field in North India. Un tad kungs man izsūtī misijas darbā uz Ziemeļu Indiju. To send me from South India to North India. No Dievu Indijas ir būt izsūtīts uz Ziemeļu Indiju. It's like sending you from Europe maybe to Uh, I don't know to Asia to become a missionary. Tu mēram tā kā tev no Eiropas aizsūtīt uz Āziju, lai tu būtu missionāri. That's how different our nation is. Tik asirīgi ir mūsu tauta. When we live in South India and you go to North India, it's a very huge difference. Kad mēs dzīvojam Dienvidu Indijā un tev aizsūtu, tu brauc uz Ziemeļu Indiju, tur ir milzīgi atšķirība. The language is different. Valoda ir savādāka. The culture is different. Kultūra ir savādāka. The behavioral patterns are different. 
divas veids ir savādāks. The way they worship God is different. Kā viņš slavē Dievu, tas ir savādāks. The food is different. Ēdiens ir savādāks. Everything is different. Viss ir savādāks. But because God was preparing for my call. Bet tādēļ, ka Dievs man gatavoja manam aicinājumam. And because I begin to obey God at his voice. Tādēļ, ka es sāku paklausīt Dievam viņa viņa balsī. He was preparing me for a destiny in the ministry with the Lord Jesus Christ. Viņš man gatavoja liktenim kalpošanā Jēzus. You have a destiny. Tev ir liktenis. Do you want to be used by God? Vai tu gribi būt Dievam lietots? Do you want God's hand to lift you up? Vai tu gribi, lai Dievs roku tev paceļ? If so, you've got to learn to prepare for your calling. Bet tev ir jāmācās būt sagatavotam savam aicinājumam. And one of the first things that will try to stop you is the double portion blessing that God has given you. Ir dubu tā svētības dāvu, ko Dievs ar tev dod. Your privilege to live in a in a in a blessed nation. Tavu privilēģi dzīvot svētītā zemē. Yep, when I come to this country, kas atbrauc uz šo zemi? Every time I've come here, I've seen such a beautiful country it is. Kad reiz, kad atbrauc šeit, es redzu tik skaistu zemi. It is an honor to live in a blessed nation. Godz dzīvot svētītā zemē. But because God has blessed you, Tādēļ, ka Dievs ir tev svētījis. And because God has given you a blessing in this nation. Tādēļ, ka Dievs ir Dievs tev svētījis šeit tautā. Don't let that blessing become a hindrance to your divine destiny. Neļo ne tā svētība kļūst par šķēršanu tavam dzīvesiem aicinājumam. Don't let this blessing stop you from the next level of God's plan for your life. Neļo tai svētība apstāna tev no nākamā dieva līmeņa dieva plānā tavā dzīvē. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, I'm a hallelujah preacher, all right? Hallelujah. When I shout hallelujah, you shout back at me. Yes, clear hallelujah to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your hallelujah must be so loud. You hallelujah would tick skaļam. That my hair must fall back. Kam man vienkārši tā kā galva atkrīt atpakaļ. When you shout at me, all right? Ka jūs tā kā aizklēdzat, aizklēdzat no kliedzen. All right. You know, there is a call upon your life. Ir aicinājums par tavu dzīvi. It is a divine call. Ir dievišs aicinājums. One of the first things that will try to stop you from your destiny. Vienā pirmam lietam, kas mēnās apstādā tev tavā liktenī. Is the double portion blessing that you've got. Ir dubultā svētības dāvu, kas tev ir. You know, many many times we look at where we are in life. Bieži mēs atskatāmies uz to, kur mēs esam savās dzīves. And we think, oh, I wish God had blessed me more. Mēs domājam, kā es gribētu, ka Dievs būtu man vairāk svētījis. And we don't realize how much God has blessed us. Un mēs nesapratām to, kā Dievs mums jau ir svētījis. So, you know, Elkana was giving her a double portion. Elkana dev dubūto dev. But Hannah was not satisfied with that. Uh, but Anna ne bi apmirināta to. She said this double portion is not enough. Viņa teica, šis dubūtais tas nav pietiekošs. My life by just getting a double portion. Es negribu savā dzīvē dabūt tikai dubūto you know, porciju. You know, I started the ministry as a worship leader. Es sāku kopošan kā slavēšanas vadītājs. Even today I enjoy leading worship more than I preach. Bet šodien es es vairāk vadu slavēšanu nekā es uzdevu. But somehow the call of God on my life to preach the God's word is just making me go on. Bet kaut kā vienkārši dev aids names man sunan dev vard liek man ir tālāk but i remember when as a young man was out to stand there and lead worship the presence of god would come kad es rosku jaunam puisim stāvot un savadot slavēšanu kad dev klāt būt nenāk but because god has blessed you in one ministry bet tad kad es to svarīs vienā kalpošanā don't lose focus of the greater plans he has for you nezaudē fokusu tiem lielākiem plāniem ko viņš tev sagatavojis you have to prepare for the next level of what god has for you tu jau būs sagatavotam nākamajam līmenim ko dies to sagatavojis no, am i saying the preaching is greater than worship ministry vai saka sludināšana ir lielāka nekā slavēšanas kalpošana no i'm not saying that nē to es nesaku i'm saying whatever god has for your life es saku to ko dies tu sagatavojis tavai dzīvei whatever plan in whatever way god wants to use you vienam kāds plāns un tas veids kad dies vēl stāv lietot don't stop the present blessing from you to get into the next level of what God has for you. Neļo lēsošā svētība tev neļo iet tajā, ko Dievs ir to sagatavojis. Everybody say with me one level of Visa glory. Visa viens līmenis say godībā. Say like this one level of glory. Tev tā viens līmenis godībā. To another level of glory. Uz nākošo līmeni godībā. To another level of glory. Uz nākamo līmeni godībā. To another level of glory. Uz nākamo līmeni godībā. God wants you to go from glory to glory. Dievs grib lai tevi no godības uz godību. That is the will of God. Tā ir Dieva griba. That God in different phases of your life would use you in a different way. Ka Dievs tevi dažā as divas brīžas lietos tev dažādos veidos. So that girl she just stepped out of her house. Tad tā meitene izgaina savas mājas. And we send her to Bible school. Mēs aizsūtījām viņu Bible school. After being trained in Bible school. Mēs tam ka par viņu lūdz Bible school. She skolā. went to the mission fields. Divās misijas darbā. She went to parts of her state where the gospel was never heard. Viņa divās uz tādām vietām valstī, kur evaņģēlijas vēl nekad nebija dzirdāt. And one day Dedās. while they were sitting together uh, uh, in they were in a village they were preaching the gospel. Un vienā dienā viņi bija vienā ciemā viņi slunāja par evaņģēliju. You know there are many many villages in India. India ir ļoti daudz dažādu ciemu. We have around 600,000 villages in our country. Mums varam 600 tūkstoši dažādu ciemu ir mūsu zemē. And many many of those villages even today have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Daudz daudz tie ciemi vēl joprojām šodien nav dzimdējis Jēzus Kristus evaņģēlijā. Some villages when we go to 
kāda ciemas, kuriem mēs ejam. And you ask them, have you heard about Jesus? Kad jautā viņiem, vai tu zināis par Jēzu? Some of those villagers would tell us like this. Kā no tiem ciemiem mums pateiks tā. He doesn't live in this village, maybe you ask in the next village. Viņš nedzīvo šajā ciematā, varbūt viņš dzīvo tur citā ciematā, pajautāja tur. They never heard about Jesus. Viņi nekad nav zinājis par Jēzu. So many thousands of villages out in the nations of the world. Tik daudz tūkstoši ciemu pasaulē. Who will go and tell them about the love of God? Kas iespēj viņiem lai pastāstīt par Jēzu? Who is going to tell them about the power of the Holy Spirit? Are you available so that God can pick you up and use you? Are you willing for God to take you to the nations of the world? So this girl went out into the village. And she being a medical doctor. They were preaching day after day in that village. Until one night while they were preaching. They heard a shout from one house, a hut nearby. In, in many of our villages, we just have small huts. She, she heard someone shout from one of the huts. A woman came out shouting, saying, my husband, my husband, my husband, do something. And because this, this friend of mine, she was a doctor, she rushed to that house to see what happened. Un šis mans draugs, viņš bija ārsts, viņš šī meitene, viņš devās šo māņu pasniedzēt, kas noticis. And she had a team of 5 6 people with her. Viņiem bija 5 6 tuvā komanda viņu kopā. From the ministry that she was serving. Ot tajā kalpošanā, kur viņi kalpoja. And she went to this house. Viņi devās šo namu. And she checked up this man. Pārvaldī šo vīru. And when she checked him up, pārvaldīvi. Because she was a doctor, she checked him, she found out that he had passed away, he had died. Tad ka viņi ir ārsts, viņi pārvaldīm pateic, ka viņš ir nomirs. You can just imagine the situation. Tur vienkārši izcēlēties to situāciju. So she looked at her other friends. Pastījās citiem draugiem. And she said, guys, teica, klausieties. This person has died. Viņš ir nomirs. He said, she said, there's no pulse. Viņš teica, tu nav pulsa. You know, check the eyes and the pupils, you know, there was, he was dead. Pārbaudu dācis un cilvēks ir miris. And while she did that, un kamēr viņi to darīja, she told her friends, viņi pateica draugiem, let's not be afraid. Bet nebaidīsimies. Let's do something. Darīsim kaut ko. Why don't we all stand around this man's dead body and pray for it? Mēs varētu apkārt šī mirušā vīra ķermenim un lūk par viņu. Now you got to understand, she is not a mighty woman of God. Tev jāsaprot, viņa nav varen Dievs sieva. She is one of the daughters in the faith to us. She grew up in our fellowship. Viņa ir viena no meitām mūsu ticībā. Viņa ir uzaugusi ar mums kopā. She would often come to us crying with different things and saying, what do I do about this and what do I do about that? Viņa bieži raundot nāks pie mums un prasīs, ko darīt tajā lietā, ko darīt ar to? But she loved God's word. That she began to be committed to God's word. You know, in our fellowship, we, we have taught our people every day you must read at least five chapters of the Bible every day. If in fact in the ministry our people we tell them, you know how we tell our ministers to read the Bible? In our ministry, I tell our ministers everybody. Visiem. Must read at least five chapters of Old Testament. Five chapters of New Testament. Five Psalms. Psalmi, and one proverb. Every day. Every single day. And you've got to spend at least one hour of your day worshipping God. Five chapters of New Testament. Five chapters of Old Testament. Five Psalms. If you read five psalms, psalms every day, dienu, how many psalms are there in the Bible? 150 psalms. psalms. Every month you can finish the entire psalm. Every month. You, you read one proverb every day. How many proverbs are there in the Bible? 31 proverbs. You can, you can read 31 proverbs one month. Every, you can read the proverbs every month. If you got to be a word of God fanatic, you got to love the word of God. You got to read the word. You got to meditate the word. In fact, I tell my people, you know, our true colors come out when we drive. Imagine we're driving very fast on the highway. And someone from the nearby track suddenly jumps in front of you. I don't know about your nation, but in our nation, we need an anointing to drive in that country. Because you will drive on the road. Then there's no place on the road, they will drive on the footpath. While you're driving on the footpath, suddenly there'll be a cow on the road, so you will 
will drive back on the on the other side. Tu mēs tur braucam tur pēkšņi govs uz ceļu, tu mēs braucam otrā ceļu pusē pēkšņi. And there'll be hundreds of people walking across the road. Ba, 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 un tur simtiem cilvēks tagad tur patpakaļ pilni, mēs tikai taurējam. It's, a, it's an amazing nation. Fantastiska tauta. And in that as as this, you know, in in such a time Utados laikos. You know, I tell people es saku cilvēkiem. That we've got to develop a lifestyle of reading God's word. Ka mums jāatīsta dzīves veids lasīt Dievu vārdu. So much. Tik ļoti. That when when some when we go on a road like that. Ka mēs ejam tādā veidā pa ceļu. And if somebody jumps in front of you. Ja kāds ir nolis tev priekšā. You stamp on the brake. Tu nospied uz bremzēm. And then what comes out of your mouth? Un kas iznāk no tavas mutes? You know, if you speak English, you know. <laughs> tu runā angļu valodā. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then something comes out of your mouth. Tu kaut kas nāk no tavas mutes ārā. You know, I tell people what we are full of es is saks, what comes out of our mouth. Es saku cilvēkiem, tas ar ko mēs esam pilni, tas ir tas, kas nāk no mūsu ārā. You know, you, uh, we must so be so full of God's word. Tas ir jābūt tik pilniem ar Dievu vārdu. That if somebody comes and hits you on your back. Ka kāds atnāk un iesi tev pa muguru. The word of God must come out of your mouth. Dievu vārdam jāiznāk laukā. You got to be so full of God's word. Tur jābūt tik pilnam ar Dievu vārdu. Come on, tell somebody, be filled with God's Pasakā, word. Pasakāram, esi piepildīts ar Dievu vārdu. Be filled with esi God's word. Esi piepildīts ar Dievu vārdu. You, hallelujah. 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 How many want God to use you? Cik daudz jūs grib, lai Dievs jūs How many really want God to use you? Cik daudz tiešām grib, lai Dievs jūs How many want to be a messenger of the Lord? Cik daudz grib būt kunga vēstnešs? How can you be a messenger of God? Kā tu vari būt Dievu vēstnesis? If you don't have the message of God inside of you. Ja Dievu vēst nav tevi iekšā. You've got to be filled with God's word. Tev ir jābūt piepildīts ar Dievu vārdu. The Bible says I have hidden his word in my heart. Bible sakas mums no apslēpts viņa vārds savā sirdī. That I will not sin against you. Mēs negrākot pret tevi. As a young Christian. Ka jaunam kristietim. I knew that God had a plan for my life. Es zināju, ka Dievam ir plāns par mani dzīvē. I was 16 years old when I met with Jesus. Man bija 16 gadi, kad es sastapos ar Jēzu. But by God's grace. Bet Dieva žāvstībā. I began to be taught by people that loved God. Man māci cilvēki, kas mīl Dievu. You know the way our leaders trained us and taught us in those years. Tas kā līderi mūs tajā laikā māci un trenē. I tell you they taught us to be like warriors. Es saku, viņi māci mūs būt pa kareivi. You know we were in we were crazy about the gospel. Mēs bijām trak par evanģēliju. You know sometimes some of my leaders Reizem kādu maniem līderiem. That come and wake me up. Viņi atnāc man pamodināja. 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 no rīta. Knock my door. Pieklāvē man pie durvīm. Uh, you know one man of God who who really ministers into our life. Viens dievs vīrs, kas tiešām kaupo manā dzīvē. In my country is a powerful man of God. Manā valstī viņš tāds spēcīgs dievs vīrs. Everywhere he goes he's preaching the gospel. Visu kur viņš iet, viņš lūdz evanģēliju. One day I went to a railway station to pick him up. Vien dienas devos uz Delsti staciju, lai viņu sagaidītu. Because of traffic we could I couldn't reach on time. I was 5 minutes late. Dei satiks mēs es pie minūtes kavējos. And in that five minutes. To 5 minūšu laikā. Hundreds of people in the railway station. Simtiem cilvēku dzelsai stacijā. So I came and stopped the car. Es atbraucu un nolēku mašīnu. And when I stopped the car. Nolēku mašīnu. You know this uh, this person I couldn't find him. Tie to cilvēki nevar atrast. I looked around I couldn't find him. Skiro sapkot nevar viņu atrast. And there are so many people Gribi you know you got to look cilvēku. around for to find the man. Tu tu tik grūti atrast tad kā vīrs. And suddenly I, I was just five minutes late. Un pēc tikai pēc 5 minūšu tikai kavējos. I heard somebody singing a gospel song loud. Es zinu, ka kāds skaļdzēt evaņģēlijas dziesmas. Because I was five minutes late. Tad, kas pēc minūtes kavējos. This man of God standing in the railway station started singing and preaching the gospel. Šis dievu vīrs stāvēja dzelzējā stacijā un sāk dzirdēt un slavēt Dievu. And he un was just, evaņģēlijas. He was distributing tracts. Viņš izdalīja traktātiņus. I ran to him. Sāk skrēt pie viņa. I grabbed him. I said, come on, pastor, let's go. Sāk jāiesāk mācītāji ejam. He said, and he's looking around. If anybody's apkārt, vai ir kāds, listening to the gospel is preaching. evaņģēlijā, ko viņš sludina. One day I went to preach in his town. Vien dienas devos, lai sludinātu viņu pilsētā. I was preaching in, a, in, in one of his services. Vienā no viņa so I was the guest speaker at SB. his town. Es būtu tā kā viens sludinātais viņa nometnē. Bet 4 no rīta viņa nometnē. He came to me at 4 o'clock. Viņš atnāca pie manim 4 no rīta. And he knocked the door. Pieklāvē man pie durvīm. And he knocked the door. Pieklāvē pie durvīm. And he said, uh, Dr. John. Viņš teica, Dr. John. And you can imagine 4 in the morning we were sleeping. Nesieloties 4 no rīta un mēs guļam. And I opened the door. Es atveru durvis. I'm half asleep. Es esmu pus aizmidzis. He says, Dr. John. Viņš saka, Dr. John. Are you sleeping? Vai tu guli? Come with me right now. Nāc ar man tagad. Let's go to one part of the city and let's intercede for the land. Es jums uz vienu daļu šajā pilsētā un aizlūksim par šo zemi. Oh, I, I was like, pastor, just wait. Es domāju, mazie, tu zini pagaidi. You know how we used to act like we are praying. Pastor, I was just praying till five minutes ago. I just fell asleep. Ziniet, kā mēs vienkārši tajā brīdī, mazie, es lūdzu, es pirms piecām minūtēm, un pirms tikai aizmigu. Oh, you quickly pour water on my face. Kā atru sazmas savu noskalo seju. And four in the morning. Un četri no rīta. We were driving to some parts of that city. Braucam uz kādu 
vietas šajā pilsētā. And I saw him begin to meet with people. Un es redzu, ka viņš satiekās ar cilvēkiem. Four in the morning in our country many places people are awake. Četros no rīta dažās mūsu zemes vietās cilvēki ir vēl nomodā. He saw somebody sweeping the front of their house. Redzu, ka kāns savu mājas priekš slauka. He stepped out to ask for directions. Viņš aiz pienāk pie viņa jautā norādes. They told him directions. Pasak norādes viņam. He said now that you told me directions for this way. Viņš sakt, ka tu man es pateicu norādes uz šajā virzienā. Let me tell you directions for life. Es tev parādīšu, pateikšu norādes dzīvei. And he stood there and started sharing the gospel to that person. Viņš sāk sludināt evanģēlī tam cilvēkam. And by 6:00 in the morning. Un sešos no līdz sešiem no rīta. He took me to the fish market. Viņš man aizveda uz zivi tirgu. Now I was the main preacher. Es biju galvenais sludinātājs. But he had a message in his heart. Bet viņam bija vēsts, viņa sirdī. It is not enough for you to be a preacher. Tas nepietiek, ka tu esi par sludinātājs. You must have a message burning on your heart. Tev ir jābūt vēstī, kas dāk tavā sirdī. And if you don't have a message on your heart, ja tev nav vēsts tavā sirdī, God cannot use you in the nations of the world. Dievs nespēst tev lietot pie pasaules tautām. Oh, six o'clock he took me to the fish market. Sešos no rīta viņš man aizveda uz zivi tirgu. And when he had first come to that city, un kad viņš bija pirmo reizi tajā pilsētā ieradies, in that city there was no place for them to stay. Tajā pilsētā nebija vietas, kur viņiem būt, nākšot. And they got one small hut. Un viņi bija dambuši mazu būdiņu. And that hut was in the fish market. Tā būdiņa bija zivi tirgu. That hut had no doors. Tā būdiņa nebija durvju. That hut was made out of coconut leaves. Tā būdiņa tika veidot no kokus, kokus koka lapām. And he, he looked at that hut and he said, John, do you know, in a hut like this, in this fish market, when I first came to the city, this is where I lived. Un viņš teica, Jāni, vai tu zināji, tā vietiņa, šī būdiņa, tā ir vieta, kas atbrauc uz šo pilsētu, tas ir tas, kur es dzīvoju. He said, my third child was delivered, was given birth in this, this kind of a hut over here in the fish market. Viņš teica, mans trešais bērns piedzim šajā būdiņā, zīvi tirgu. But from there, God has picked him up. Bet no tās vietas viņa patsvēlas. God has used him mightily in the nations of the world. Tiesa viņa vairāk lietojas pie pasaules tautām. Everywhere he goes. Visu, kur viņš dodās. He's sharing the gospel. Viņš dalās evaņģēlijā. And I thank God that we've been trained by men and women of God like that. Un es pateicos, ka par mums lūdzu tādi dievi vīri un sievs. That they don't come to you at 4 o'clock. Ka viņi nenāk pie tevīm četros no rīta. Brother, how are you doing? Brāli, kā tev ir? Are you sleeping? Lā, tu guli? It's okay, brother. Sleep two more hours. No problem. Viņi slāpa, vēl divas stundas. I know it's only 4 o'clock. Es zinu tikai četri no rīta. They will come to us and say, get up. Viņi atnāks pie mums un teica, celies. Let's go out there. Iesim ārā. Let's pray for the land. Lūksim par zemi. And then he would come to us. Tad viņš nāca pie mums. And he said, of us we are fasting and praying Sometimes he'd come for our conferences. Vai zemi šatbrauc uz mūsu konferencē. He tell us three days everybody fast and pray. Pasak trīs dienas visi gavējam lūdzam. Oh, we'd be thinking about the nice food in the camp. Es domāju par garšīgo ēdienu nometnē. In many of our camp meetings like this. Daudz no mūsu šādām nometnēm. He would just come and declare fasting prayer. Viņš atnāk vienkārši pasaka mums būs gavēņu lūkšanu laiks. You know in our nation. Mūsu tautā. From our fellowships. No mū tu no mūsu draudz. God has raised many 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 mighty men and women of God. Tas ir pacels daudz daudz varens dievu vīrus un sievas. Today many of the people people that were with me in medical college Daudz šodien daudz cilvēks bija ar manim kopā medicīnas kolēģi Today many of those people are are preaching the gospel of Jesus in the nations of the world Daudz tiem cilvēkiem sludin evanģēli pasaules tautās Haleluja 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 What is stopping you from your blessing Kas tevi aptur no tavas svētības Is the double portion blessing of God stopping you Vai tā ir dubultā svētības deva dievu svētības kas ir tavā dzīvē One of the first things that tries to stop you from the call of God is the blessing that God has blessed you. Vien no pirmajām lietām, kas tev liek, kas aptur divu aicinājumu tavā dzīvē, ir tā svētība, kur tev ir devis. Samplen, when I came here, es atbraucu uz šeien. The first thing I was looking for was for an internet connection. Pirmā lieta, ko es meklēju, bija internet savienojums. You know, I'm so connected on the internet, everything happens like that now. Esam tik ļoti saistīts internetā, ka viss noteikti savar to šodien. But there are many parts of my nation. Bet manā zemē daudz vietas. Forget the internet. Aizmirst internetu. Forget a mobile connection. Aizmirst mobilā telefonu. You know we would, we would have to travel hours into the into the deep jungles. Mums stundām ir jāsaļot dziļi džungļos. Where there are churches deep inside the jungle. Kur draudzes ir dziļi džungļos. One day I went to inaugurate a church that we helped build Vien inside dienu, the jungle. Vien dienas devos kā draudzes, ko mēs palīdzējām uzsaukt džungļos. And the jungle pastor Un ir mācītājs, draudzēji džungļos, ka viņi cilvēki sapulcējās kopā. Ļoti amadzīgs cilvēks. Bet ļoti interesanti, šis mācītājs džungļos. Viņš nemāk nelasīt, nerakstīt. Ja viņš nekad nav mācījies lasīt. Bet viņš ir mācītājs draudzēji. Un viņš 
šli nevaņģēlē no tā, ko viņš ir dzirdējis no daudz no mums. So they invited me to go in and inaugurate this church, you know, they built a small church and I was going to cut the ribbon and inaugurate the church. Un viņi aicināja man tur braukt, viņi bija uzcēluši mazu draudzīti un tā kā iesvētīt to draudzi, and atklāt so, viņu. So a man from another city came with me. Un kāds vīrs no citas pilsētas atbrauc ar man līdzi. And we went six hours into the jungle. Sešas stundas mēs braucām iekšās džungļos. And drive so that and when we reached into the jungle, this man from another city on the way he was telling all great missionary stories of how great a missionary he was and he was complaining and accusing those other missionaries and he was saying all kinds of bad things now that was really irritating me Tas, tas man kaitināja. You know, it bugs me when I hear people talk about other men and women of God. Zini, man nepatīk dzirdēt, ka citi runā par citiem divu vīriem so ciemā. Tu mēs nonācām šajā ciematā. This man of God. Šis divu vīrs. Now, they had said that the church inauguration would be at 11 o'clock. Tu bija teicis, ka draums iesvētīšana būs pulkstens 11. And so at 11 o'clock he's standing in front of the church and he's looking at his watch and saying, why are the people not come here? Viems, tas viņš tāv draudz priekšā un prasa, kāpēc cilvēki vēl vēl ierdušies šeit? How can the people come? Because the people in the jungles, they don't have a watch. Kā, kāpēc cilvēki vēl ierdušies? Bet cilvēkiem džungļos viņiem nav pulksteņa. But some of us are so used to all these things. Kā, nu mums esam tā pieerduši tādām lietām. That we get upset with people. He's half an hour late. Kā mēs sacumējam, mēs esam cilvēki, ka man viņš pustundu kavē. The people came to the church service. Cilvēki, kad nāca draudzes dekopojumi. Around, around 11, 11.30 or whatever. Apmēram, tur viens vēl Because they look at time by looking at the sun in the sky. Jo viņi laika nosaka pēc saules debesīs. Before the sun is way up. Kad saule ceļās. They have some idea that it is around 11 o'clock. Viņiem ir tā, tā nojausma otāk, ka varētu būt apmēram 11. Anyway, that night. Lai, nu, kā tajā vakarā. We all went to sleep. Mēs mēs gulēt. The next morning. Nākošajā rītā. That man comes to me. Tas vīrs atnāk pie manis. And he asks me. Viņš man pajautā. Brother John. Brāl Jāni. Where are the toilets? Kur ir toilets? I'd like to go to toilets. Es varētu aiziet uz toilets. So I begin to laugh. Es sāku smieties. This was for God, all you know, this was the middle of the jungle. Tie, tas bija, tas bija džungļu vidū. Now you don't have sensor, sensor, you know, custom uh, western closets that are fitted in the jungle. Tev nav nekāda rietumu, rietumu podi, kas ir, kas ir piemērot džungļiem tur. So he said, where do I go to toilet? Viņš prasa, kam, kur man aiziet uz toleti? I told him, take a jug of water and go in any, any direction. Es viņam saku, paņem ūdens, krūz un ne, kur vien gribi. I said, every direction you go, it is the, it is the toilet. Jebkurām virzienā, kur ties, tur būs toleti. Just go in any direction and feel comfortable. Ej, jebkurā virzienā un jūties ārti. And he was like, what? Viņš domā, ko? Are they not toilets? Nav no tolešu? Are, are they not toilets here? Nav no tolešu šeit. You see, if you really want to be used by God, Nezi, kurš ir no jums būt dievlietos? You got to know how you can preach the gospel when you're living in a forward nation. Tev ir jāzin, ka tu, tev ir jāzin, kā slunāt evaņģēlī tagad un dzīvo. Also, and you also got to know how to preach the gospel when you're living in a backward nation. Es dzīvo valstī, kas ir progresīva ir ikatu dzīvo valstī kas kas ir neatīstīta. I grew up in in a wealthy nation. Es uzsauku turīgā zemē. But then God sent me back to India. Bet es man sūtīja atpakaļ uz Indiju. And when he sent me to India. Un kad es man sūtīja atpakaļ uz Indiju. One of the first things I had to keep on my mind. Vien no pirmajām lietām, kas man bija atprāt prātā. Is that I should not let the blessing of God on my life become a hindrance to his call. Ka man nevajag let ļaut Dievu svētībai manā dzīvē būt par šķērsli manā aicinājumā. My wife and I Both of us were we grew up in in, in a forward nation. Mēs abas uzaugām attīstības valstī. God called both of us to go back to India. Bet mums aicināja atgriezties Indijā. And for many years we lived in the northern part of India. Daudz gadus mēs dzīvojām Indijas ziemeļu daļā. And one part of India. Un vienā Indijas daļā. Where we lived. Kur mēs dzīvojām. For around 12 to 14 hours a day there is no electricity. No varam 12 to 14 stundas dienā nav elektrības. So if you want to get on your Wi-Fi and you want to check out the latest Facebook updates Hey, darling, it's not happening. Ja tu gribi piekļūt pie Facebooka, pārbaudīt, kas notiek jaunums, zin, tas nenotiks. If you want to really, you know, chat long hours and do all kinds of stuff, there's no power there. Un tu gribi daudz stundas tur chatot un kaut kādas citas lietas izdarīt, tur nav elektrības. I remember one day I was trying to open up my Hotmail account. Atceros, viņi dienu mēģināja atvērt savu e-pastu. And it took me 45 minutes to open up the opening page, home page, 45 Man minutes. Un 45 minūtes atvērt pirmo lapas pusi. Uh, uh, you know, you, see, if you really want to be used by God, ja one of the first things that will try to stop you no lietām, kas is the double portion blessing that God ir has given you. Dubultā, sveitības, dāvu, kur es tevi God has blessed you. 
is the mocking of the people that have gone ahead of you in the ministry. When you look at some other churches, they have land and property, they have buildings, they have money, but what do you have? You don't have any of that. But what you have in your heart is a vision from God. How many of you have a vision from God? How many of you have a vision on your heart? I want you to know your vision is very powerful. If your vision is from God, God will give provision for your vision. He will open up doors for your vision. And so when, when, you, look, when you look back at some of those churches, almost like they, you feel mocked by them because you feel that they are, you know, they are blessed and you are not. They have the money and you don't. They have all the equipment and you don't. I was looking at all this equipment here. And I was telling the Lord, Lord, that would be pretty cool to have all this stuff here. Un es domāju, kungs, tas būtu diezgan forši tā būtu. But when you go back to your hometowns. Bet tagad tu atgriezies savā pilsētā. When you go back to your little churches. Kad atgriezies uz savām mazajām draudzītēm. Maybe they don't have all these lights. Varbūt tur nav viss šīs gaisas. Maybe they don't have the smoke machine that's bringing the smoke out here. Varbūt tur nav dūmu mašīna, kas te dūmu staisa. But if you are a man or woman of destiny on your life. Ja tu esi slikteņa vīrs vai sieva. You will begin to carry the anointing and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Tu sāc nesi Dievu svētā gada svaidījumu un spēku. Hallelujah. 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 You will carry the fire of God upon your heart. You know the local church that I went to when I was a little boy. Because there was no other church that I could go to. There was one local church. And that pastor, he... he You know, it was not an English church. It was a, a local language church. And I was like, uh, I was uh, living in that city and even that's, that language was not my language. That language was not my language. And so the only church that I go, could go to was a church that they were worshipping in a language which was not mine. I didn't understand a thing they said. I couldn't understand what they were worshipping. I couldn't understand the message. And my pastor was not really a very exciting pastor. Oh, he couldn't preach like, you know, Benny Hinn or whatever. And I would go to that church. But week after week, I sat there and I listened to God's word. Slowly I begin to learn that language. Slowly I begin to share the gospel in that language. Slowly I begin to go to the villages and preach the gospel. And there were many others who spoke that language. But they could, they would not go with the pastor. Because they were blessed. They had money. They were busy, but they didn't have a burden from God. But as a young boy, I didn't have the money. I didn't have the influence. But I had a call from God in my heart. And I said, Lord, I want you to use me. How many want to pray that prayer with me today? God, maybe I don't have the money. But I want you to use me, Lord. And when pastor would go to the villages. Oh yes, the pastor knew English. So he would tell me, John, would you like to come with me to the village? I didn't know the language. But I knew how to play a guitar. And the only guitar we had in those days was a Spanish guitar, a classical guitar. With, with nylon strings. And in our country, not many people, you know, in my city were playing instruments in those days. So I took, so I took our Spanish guitar. 
No devil of hell can stop you. No intimidation of any penina can stop you. You know, the second thing that tried to stop Hannah was that the penina was intimidating her. Well, penainas were intimidating her. And mocking her. Ah, what ministry you have? Oh, as if you have children. You don't have any children. What you're going to do for God? But me? Yes. Oh, she was saying, oh, we have children. I have children. Elkanah loves me. Because I've given him children. But what blessing you have? What ministry you have? God cannot use you. And when she was saying that, you know, Hannah's heart was broken. As you grow up in the Lord's ministry, one of the things that will try to stop you is the intimidation of the men and women of God that have gone ahead of you in the ministry. I got, I got good news for you. Don't be afraid of their intimidation. Don't be afraid of people's intimidation. There are many seated in this place today. Your family is intimidating you. Your family is saying, oh, you are a Christian. Why are you going after these things? Oh, all these things are nonsense. All these things are religion. Don't follow all these things like a religious person. Go after money. Make a lot of wealth. Become a wealthy person. And they will try to intimidate you. The second thing that will stop you is the intimidation of these people. They will try to mock you. They will try to accuse you. They will try to lie about you. When I was a young Christian, when I was in medical college, I was preaching the gospel in those days. I was 17, 18, 19 years old. At that time, many people started opposing the preaching of the gospel that we were doing. How many of you people have opposed your preaching of the gospel? Can I see your hand? Hold it up high, unashamed of the gospel. You know, they used to oppose the preaching of the gospel. That girl was opposed that I talked to you about. She was kicked out of her house. She went to the Bible school. Then she went to the village. That man was dead. But she and her people stood around that dead body. And they began to hold hands and they began to pray. Five minutes went by. They kept on praying. Ten minutes went by. They kept on praying. 15 minutes went by. And they kept on praying. After 15 minutes, this man who had died rose up from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it was not done by mighty men of God. It was done by an ordinary disciple. Look at somebody who I ask them, are you a disciple? Are you a disciple? Ask, ask somebody, are you a disciple? Then you can do mighty things for God. If you are a disciple of the Lord, you don't have to be a mighty man of God. You don't have to be a mighty preacher. What you've got to be, you've got to be hungry for God. Oh, this lady raised that person from the dead. <laughs> And they, and they came back and told us a report about what God was doing. And I was telling the Lord, Lord, not fair. 
Kungs nav godīgi. Lord, this is not fair. Kungs nav nav godīgi. I haven't even raised of dead fly. Es neesmu uzmanais, bet mirušs bušu. Even a dead fly has been raised from the dead. Bet mirušs bušu nav uzmanis no mirušajiem. But our disciples are raising the dead. Bet mācekļi uzmodina mirušos. Greater days are coming. Nāk lielākas dienas. That what we are seeing nowadays. Tagad tas, ko mēs šodien redzam. In my name. Manā vārdā. You will do greater things, Jesus said. Jūs darīsiet lielākas lietas, ja es teicu. I believe in the coming days. Es ticu, ka tajās dienās, kas ir priekšā. God is going to do mighty things through extra through ordinary people he's going to do extraordinary things. Tā rīt parastiem cilvēkiem viņš darīs neparastas lietas. Oh God is using those people today. Dievs lieto tos tādus cilvēkus šodien. Out in the nations of the world. Pasaules tautās. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Mēs nekaunamies no evaņģēlijas. Tell somebody I am not ashamed of the gospel. Pasaules tautās mēs nekaunos no evaņģēlijas. Say I am not ashamed of the gospel. Pasaules nekaunos no evaņģēlijas. Shout it loud. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Mēs nekaunos no evaņģēlijas. Because it is the power of God. Tas ir Dievs spēks. Unto salvation. Par pestīšanu. You know when I was preaching the gospel in my city. Kad es runāju evaņģēliju savā pilsētā. I was a young boy. Es bija jauns puisis. I did not have much money. Man nebija daudz nauda. But I had a vision from God. Bet man bija vīzija no Dieva. I had a vision from God. Man bija vīzija no Dieva. And as I was preaching the gospel. Tad kad es runāju evaņģēliju. In my class there were only two people that knew Jesus Christ. Manā klasē bija tikai divi cilvēki, kas pazina Jēzu. Myself and another person, two of us that were born again. Es un mans draugs, mēs bijām divi, kas bijām jau piedzimuši. And we had around 250 people in our class. Mūsu manā klasē bija apmēram 250 cilvēku. And as the years went by, the, the numbers came down to about 150. Un gadiem ejot samaz By the time I finished college, it's based college. What about 50 people? I mean, close to 50 people among the the 150, 200 had given their lives to Jesus Christ. No, see, pies and dusen sova kem pies and sova kvaram pies and sova biada vshov zivs Jesus. Many, many had accepted Jesus. Daus bi penjem Jesus. I was not a preacher. Es nebī sludinātājs. But I had a message in my heart. Be man be vēs manā sirdī. I had a message in my heart. Man be vēs manā sirdī. Everywhere I went. Visur kur es devos. I didn't need a platform to preach. Man nevajag dzēt platformu lai sludinātu. I didn't need a platform to lead worship. Man nevajag dzēt platformu lai vadītu slavēšanu. As a young boy. Kā jauns puisis. Living in that hostel room. Dzīvot te hosteli. 4:45 in the morning. 4:05 no rīta. I would get up in the morning. Sēlos no rīta. And I would go, I would go and to the toilet and I wash my face. Ais guys on this stuff no mums guys say. And I would just I'd freshen up. No es atsvaidzinos. And by 5 o'clock in the morning. 5:00 no rīta. I would rush on top of our, our hostel terrace. Es uzskāp augšā uz 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 hostel jumta. And every morning katru rītu. In my in my state the the sun would rise up at 5:30 in the morning. Uh, manā šatā 5:30 no rīta ceļās lec saule. And, and in our country in our area the sun sets around 5:30 6 o'clock in the evening. Mūsu valstī 5:30 šeiem uh, vakarā saule noriet. It doesn't set at 9 o'clock like you have here. Tas nav nav tā kā jums šeit 9:00. It will rise at 5:30 and set around 5:36. A manā 5:30 saule lec, no manā 5:30 vai 6:00 viņi riet. But every morning Bet katru rītu. I was not in full time ministry. Es nebī pilnā laika kaupošanā. But I knew the secret if God had to use me. Bet zināju noslēpu, ka Dievs var man lietot. I had to prepare for the ministry. Man ir jāsagatavo kaupošanai. Say loud after me prepare. Sāk skaļ sagatavoties. Say loud prepare. Sāk skaļ sagatavoties. Touch three people and say prepare, prepare, prepare. Aizmēs visu sāk sagatavojies. Tell them you got to prepare for the Lord's ministry. Sāk viņiem tev ir jāsagatavo kaupošanai. kaupošanai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know you don't have to come to full time before you prepare. Tev nav jāna Pilnlaik, tu nevar nāk pilnlaik kaut pašā pirms uz nesagatavojies. If you are prepared before you are in full time, ja tu esi sagatavojies pilnlaik kaut pašā, when you come to full time, ja tu nonāks pilnlaik kaut pašā, you will already be prepared for the ministry. Jau būs gatavs kaut pašā. So what happened over there? Kas notiek tur? 4:45 would get up. 4:30 tad es pieceļos. 5 o'clock in the morning I'd be up in the terrace. Piecos jūs esmu uz jumta. And I'd be worshiping God. Un es slavēju Dievu. Every morning we'd be worshiping God. Katru rītu es vienkārši slavēju Dievu. Oh my hands would be lifted up to God. Un rokas ir pret Dievu. And I'd be crying out to God. Es vienkārši šautu uz Dievu. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Kungs Jēzus. I worship you God. Es tevi slavēju Dievu. I worship you. Es tevi slavēju. And most of the guys in a hostel would be sleeping. Un vairums puiši manā hostelī guļ. It would be sunset. There Saula, Saula the sun lats. hadn't risen. Saula nav uzlekus. They would be sleeping. Viņi guļ. But myself and my my roommate. Bet tēs un mans istabas biedrs. I had a roommate who came from another faith. Man bija istabas biedrs, kurš nāk no citas ticības. He, he, he was not a Christian convert. He was a non-Christian background. Viņš nebija kristiens, viņš nāk no kā nekristiens. He turned to God. Viņš pievērsās Dievam. He got saved, he got baptized and viņš, filled viņš, with the Holy Spirit. Viņš tika glābts, kristīs, piepildīts ar oh, Svēto Garu. Was, 
He was so full of the Holy Spirit. Worshiping God and worshiping, you know, in the Holy Spirit. Uh, two of us would go up on the terrace. And we'd be walking up and down the terrace. And we'd be worshiping God. No guitar. No keyboard. No sound system. Nobody to lead us. Uh, in those days, you know, we didn't have anything. And in fact, my roommate couldn't sit and sing for nuts. I, I, I remember in those days, uh, I mean, he had a terrible voice. Uh, my roommate had a terrible voice. But there was a band called Petra. Have you heard this band called Petra? So, so, you know, I remember this man, he, you know, he just couldn't sing for nuts, but he loved that, that, that album, one album by Petra. So he would play that album on the tape recorder. And I remember there was a song called I Am Available. Have you heard that song, I Am Available? So he would come there and he would listen to that song. And when nobody was watching him, he would be in his room. And he would be lifting his hands up to heaven. And he would be saying, God, I am available. And he would be crying out to God. And I would come to the room. And outside the room, I'm hearing him sing. You know, for, we were three, three of us who were together. They were close friends. And uh, two of us, uh, uh, in fact, today, all three of us, God is using in the ministry. All of us are doctors. Of those three friends, two of us are in full time in the ministry. Another third person, this guy who couldn't sing, he's also serving God and preaching the gospel. When we used to sing, our people in the fellowship used to make fun of us. They used to call, they, when we sang, they said, you know, my, my name was John, there was another friend, Matthew. And, and the third guy was called Satya. So they used to say John Major. They, to, they, would, they would say John Major. Uh, they say Major. No, Major. You know the key on the. On. Ah, Jans Majors. Then they would say Matthew, uh, Matthew Flat. Matthews. Uh, <laughs> Bemos. Well, you know, he would always go flat. Well, we should be. <laughs> John Major, Satya Minor, and Matthew Flat. That is John's uh, Majors, uh, Matthews. Bemos and Satya Flat. No, no, Matthew Flat. Bemos and Satya But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never know, sorry. The important thing <laughs> sorry, is yet. that God is using all of us in the ministry. <laughs> that through our lives, <laughs> without any music, <laughs> people are getting born again. <laughs> we are depopulating hell and repopulating heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 It doesn't matter what gifting you have. No, sorry, God, down to it. it doesn't matter if you have all these instruments or whatever. No, sorry, but the virvish instrument of a net. What matters is whether you have a message. Taskus is very good, but every way that is burning on your heart. Because that was sitting that you want God to use you. Could you grieve like this? Tell you want God to use you. To grieve like this? Tell you. Oh, we would worship God. Oh, could we slave it? Do you know five to six o'clock? No, be it same lead session. Every day, five twenty five when the sun came up. I would look at the sun. And I would tell the sun. Even this morning. One more time. Before you rose up. You found me worshiping God. I said one more morning, son. You found me worshiping God. Oh, it was such a joy to worship God. Six o'clock we'd go down to the room. Six to seven we would read the Bible. We read the Bible. And read the Bible. And read the Bible. Every day, one hour. Five test chapters of Old Testament. Five chapters of New Testament. Five Psalms. And one proverb. Every day. That we filled ourselves with God's word. That when persecution came against us. That when the Penanas mocked us. When they lied about us, it didn't bother us. 
tas mūs neuztrauc. Because we were filled with God's word. Mēs bijām piepildīti ar Dievu vārdu. Hallelujah. 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 If you are filled with God's word, tas piepildīts ar Dievu vārdu. The intimidation of people will not bother you. Cilvēki iebiedēšana tev neuztrauc. Because the truth of God's word is in your heart. Jo Dievu vārdu patiesība ir tavā sirdī. The third thing that tries to stop you from your destiny. Trešā lieta, kas mēģina tev apturēt no tavu likteņu. Elkana comes to Hannah. Elkana nāk pie Annas. And tells Hannah. Saka Annai. Why are you crying like this? Tāpēc tu tā raudi. Why are you crying for a child? Tāpēc tu raudi pēc bērna. Is my love not enough for you? Vai mana mīlestība nav pietiekoša? Elkana tells Hannah. Elkana saka Annai. My love is better than ten sons. Mana mīlestība ir labāk nekā desmit dēlis. My love is better than ten sons. Mana mīlestība ir labāk nekā desmit dēlis. But Hannah would not stop with that. Bet Anna neapmierinājās ar to. Hannah told Elkana. Anna teica Elkanai. It is not enough to have your love which is better than ten sons. No, pietiekoši, ka tev ir Man man mīlestības ir labāk kā desmit dēli. Trešā lieks var apturēt tev no tavu likteņa. Is the love of your loved ones. Ir tavu mīļoto mīlestību. There are so many people in the ministry. Ir daudz cilvēku kalpošanā. That don't want to be used by God. Kas negrib būt Dievu lietot. Because they've fallen in love with somebody. Jo viņi ir kādi iemīlējuši. Oh, they have a relationship with somebody. Jau ir attiecības ar kādu. And that person doesn't know the Lord. Un tas cilvēks nepazīst Dievu. And so if you come to Jesus. Ja tu nāc pie Jēzus. Oh, that person will leave you and go. Oh, tas cilvēks tev atstās un And then you won't have a love affair. That they will be meals like. And so they don't want to walk with Jesus. Tavi negrib staigāt ar Jēzu. Because they're afraid they will lose their relationship. Tavi bairās, ka viņš zaudēs savu satiecību. I want to tell you something. Es gribu tev pateikt kaut ko. Many people stop being used by God. Daudz beidz būt Dievu lietoti. Because their family opposes them. Jo viņi ģimeni nostājas un ņem pretī. Because their friends oppose them. Jo draugi nostājas pretī. When I got born again. Kad es jaun piedzimu. I remember the day I got born again. Es atceros to dienu, kad es jaun piedzimu. You know people in my hostel. Cilvēki manā hostelī. They came and said, hey, John has turned hallelujah. Viņi teica, un nāca un teica, jā, vēl jau hallelujah. Jānis has become hallelujah. Jānis ir kļūst par hallelujah. And they started making fun. Viņi saka izsmiet. Oh, I wanted the, the acceptance from them. Es gribēju viņu pieņemšanu. I wanted the love from them. Es gribēju mīlestību no viņiem. But in my heart, I knew. Bet savā sirdī es zināju. That these friends are not going to be with me for all my life. Ka šie draugi nebūs ar mani visu manu dzīvi. I knew there was one person who was going to walk with me all the days of my life. Es zināju, ka būs viens, kas būs ar mani visu manu dzīvi. And that was the Holy Spirit. Tas būs atais gars. I wanted his love more than I wanted anything else in my life. Gribēju viņu mīlestību vairāk kā es gribēju ko citu savā dzīvē. I said God if you can use me. Es teicu Dievs, ja tu vari man lietot. I don't care if these people reject us. Man nav ko tie cilvēki man atraida. Lord your love is what I want. Kungs tau mīlestība ir tas ko es vēlos. Your love is all I need. Tau mīlestība ir viss kas man vajadzīgs. Lord I want your love more than anything. Kungs tau mīlestība ir vairāk kā jebko citu. At one time there was a girl that I had fallen in love with. Vienā brīdī bija meitene ko es iemīlēju. She was a very beautiful girl. Bija ļoti skaista meitene. But she was Unbeliever. And in my heart, I wanted to somehow get her born again. Because if she gets saved, ah, then I can get married to her. Because the Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. So I tried to share the gospel with her. But this girl was from another faith. And not only was she from another faith, she was a strong believer in her other faith. And so she had a ring with the sign of her gods on the ring. Viņai bija gredzens ar viņas dieviem uz tā gredzeni. Oh, I started praying for her. Kā es sāk lūgt par viņu. I wanted her to be born again. Es gribēju, ka viņa jau piedzimst. Lord, touch her, Lord. Kūks aizskar viņu. Lord, touch her. Kūks aizskar viņu. Lord, you've got to get her saved. Kūks, tev viņa ir jāglāba. I don't know about you, but I prayed for her. Nezinu kā tu, bet es lūdzu par viņu. Months went by. Pagāja mēneši. Years went by. Gadi pagāja. But she was not born again. Bet viņa nepiedzimt no augšēnas. Ah, terrible thing. Briesmīgi. Lord, why are you not getting a born again? Kūks, kā dēvi netiek glābta. I remember she was from Malaysia. Atceros, viņa bija no Malaizijas. So there was a Malaysian friend of mine. Man bija Malaiziešu draugs. I told him like this one day. Es pateicu viņam vien dienu tā. I said, listen, young man. Tiesi, klausies jaunais cilvēks. There's that person like that over there. Lūk, kur tas cilvēks tā meitene ir. Oh, she needs Jesus. Viņai vajag Jēzu. She needs to be born again. Viņai ir jau piedzimst no augšēnas. I didn't tell my friend that I had a crush on this girl. Es jau savam draugam neteicu, ka man ir sabrukas šateicības ar viņu. I was telling my friend that that girl needs Jesus. Es teicu savam draugam, ka viņai vajag Jēzu. And I said, you need to go and preach the gospel to her. Man es viņam teicu, ej uz lūdzu, nevaģēlī viņai. Because I kept going after her, I knew that maybe she has a doubt that I'm after her. 
Jo, es zināju, ka ja es turpināšu visu laiku iet pie viņš, ja varu būs tāda sajūta, kad es eipēt pie viņš. Mans draugs devās pie viņš. Un sūdnā evaņģēlī. Es teicu viņam, šodien sūdnā evaņģēlī. Es visu vakaru lūkšu, vai es visu nakti lūkšu. Bet rīt no rīta atnāca pie mani un pasaka, vai viņa tik glābi. Es lūdzu visu vakaru. Es lūdzu naktī. Kūks viņai ir jāteik glābtai. O, viņai ir jāteik glābtai. Viņa ir jāpiedzimst no augšķienas. Six o'clock in the morning. Seši no rīta. In those days, no mobile phone, nothing. Tajā laikā nav mobilē telefonu nekā. Six o'clock in the morning, I'm waiting for my friend to come. Seši no rīta, gaidu, ka man draugs ierdīsies. And six o'clock, he came and knocked the door. Seši no rīta, viņš pieklāvēja pie durvīm. I opened the door. Atveru durvis. I said, did she receive Jesus Christ? Saka, viņa pieņēma Jēzus Kristu. And he said, no, brother, but keep praying. Nē, brāl, bet turpin lūk. Someday the Lord will touch her. Kā dendies viņa aizskars? Oh, I was so upset. Es biju tik dusmīgs. I was so angry. Es biju tik nikams. Lord, why can't you save this one girl? Dievs, kāpēc tu nespēj viņu glābt? Just get her born again. Vienkārši panāc, ka viņa tiek glābt. I've committed to serve you in the ministry. Man vajag... I've committed to serve you in the ministry. But you know, all those five and a half years, many people in my college got saved. Many, many people got saved. But this girl didn't get saved. I was very upset. Sometimes the people that we love can stop us from the ministry. Some of the people that, that, that you feel that you are in love with or your family that loves you can stop you from your divine destiny. Elkana told her. He said, why are you crying like this? Am I not better than ten sons? But she said, whatever, how much ever you love me, I still want my divine destiny. I still want that divine blessing on my life. The fourth thing in this chapter, one day she goes and she's crying in the temple. And as she's crying in the temple, she's crying and Eli sees her from a distance. He sees her from a distance. And when he sees her from a distance, Eli, the priest, thinks that she's backslidden. He thinks that she's backslidden. And he begins to call her a drunkard. You know, the accusation from a man of God. You know, sometimes when you come into the churches, when you come into the ministry, Accusations are going to come your way. People are going to oppose you. People are going to lie about you. People are going to tell wrong things about you. They are going to say you meant that when you said that. They are going to say you are proud. They're going to attack your character. They're going to say lies about you. And if you are not ready for people to lie about you, you're not ready for the ministry. If you are coming to serve God, if you are preparing in your heart to serve God, everything inside of your heart must be ready to die to yourself. Eli looked at her and said, why are you drunk at this hour? Why are you drunk at this hour? And she said, Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm only a woman with a broken heart. I'm only a bro woman with a broken heart. And she said, I've been asking God for a child. I've been asking God for a child. And Eli looks at her. And Eli says, I'm going to, I'm going to bless you. Next year by this time, you will have a child in your life. And he blesses her. That man of God that had misunderstood her, instead of attacking him, she humbled herself. She humbled herself. And she told the man of God, I'm not drunk like you think. I only, I only want a child. And, and, and the man of God blessed her. The Bible says, after a year, you know, within, when she went back, Hannah got pregnant. And she had the blessing of the womb that she was longing for. Today, many of you are standing in that crossroad in your life. I believe God has a divine destiny upon your life. 
that you will rise up under the glory of God. That nothing will stop you from hearing God's voice. Nothing is going to stop you. That the double portion blessing with which you will be blessed won't stop you. I told the Lord one day, send me anywhere, Lord. Send me anywhere, Lord. But if you can use me, Bet jebar lietot mani. Use me Lord. Lieto mani. Just use me Lord. Kas lieto mani. One day the Lord spoke to me he said get pack your bags go to North India. Vien den de stai sakrava mans brat zemeni India. And he said go to this place called Gwalia in North India. Jūs aiz brausat vietu ka Gwalia zemeni. When I went there I didn't like the place. I didn't like the heat. Man it was very, 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 very hot. Oh, I got off at the railway station full of flies. Oh, the streets were dirty. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine why God would send me to Nothing. But when I stood in that land, I told the Lord, give me a love for these people. Anywhere you send me, I will go, Lord. Anywhere you send me, I will go, Lord. Can you send me as a missionary? Can you send me to the nations of the world? Five years I lived in that city. Five years I preached the gospel. And after those five years, when the time the Lord was asking me to leave that city and go to another city, oh, I had fallen so much in love with that land. I told the Lord, don't send me away from this place. Lord, keep me in this land. I love North India. I love preaching the gospel. The very things that you don't like. After you, when you die to yourself. When you die to, you die to your privileges. When you die to your personal. When you die, the, the love of people that love you won't stop you. When you die to your personal. When when you die, the love of people that love you won't stop you. When you die to your personal. When when you die, the love of people that love you won't stop you. won't stop you. When you die to your personal. When you die, the love of people that love you won't stop you. When you die to your personal. When you die, the love won't stop you. And the wrong accusation of the men of God won't stop you. When I was 19 years old, I had a false case put on my head by a pastor. He went to the cops and he bribed the cops. And, and put a case on my head. I was around 19 years old at that time. The police were coming to attack, arrest us. A little boy, I was afraid. But I never knew that this intimidation of these people was preparing us for the call of God. And I believe today in your life there are many people here in this place that are preparing for a call of God. The Bible says he has anointed you to preach the good news. The Bible says in Luke 4.18 the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. Put your hands on your head right now. And say the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And He has anointed me to preach the good news. To preach the good news. I believe today, right now, wherever you are, maybe there are people that are here in this place right now that want to dedicate your life to Jesus Christ. If you are asking the Holy Spirit to use you, wherever you are, I want you to stand up to your place right now. I want to pray for such people that are saying, Lord, today, I know I, know I have a call of God on my life. I want to dedicate myself to you, O God. I want you to use me in a fresh way. 
to jaunā veidā. I want you to pour out an anointing on my life. Es gribu izlaist savu svaidību par manu. I want such people to rise up to your feet. Es gribu tādu cilvēku pieslēst. I want to pray for you right now wherever you are. Par jums vai nav kur tu esi. I'm not it doesn't matter who is standing who is not standing. Nav kurš stāv, kurš nestāv, tas nav svarīgi. What matters is whether your heart is standing up before the Lord. Tas svarīgi ir vai tavs sirds stāv devam. And if you are making a commitment to serve God. Un ja tu izdarā apņemšanos kalpo devam. And you are saying God. Tu sak Dievs. I don't want the blessing that you given me to stop me from the call of God. Es negribu, ka tas veidī, ko tu man esi Dievs, man atrod no tava aicinājuma. I don't want the comforts of the luxury of the ministry to stop me. Es nezinu, negribu, kad kalpošanas komforts man apturētu no kalpošanas. Me, Lord, ja tu var man lietot, kungs. I want you to use me. Es gribu, ka tu lieto mani. Even as you're standing right now. Bet kamēr jūs stāvat. You're saying, oh God, right now. Tu sak, kungs, tagad. God, I don't want the double portion blessing. Es gribu, negribu dubūt to sveitību. I want you to talk to God right now. Es gribu runā ar Dievu. Has a double portion blessing tried to stop you? Vai dubūt tā sveitība mēģinājas tevi apturēt? Has the blessings of the comforts God has given you? Vai tā komforta sveitība, kuras ir devis? Is that trying to stop you from your call? Vai tas mēģina tevi aturēt no tava aicinājuma? Oh, is that trying to stop you from your call? Vai tas mēģina tevi aturēt no tava aicinājuma? Wherever you are right now. Vai nav kur tu esi tagad? Talk to God. Runā ar Dievu. Just dedicate your life to him right Vēl now. Vēl savu Dedicate your life to him right now. Some of you are standing here today. Maybe maybe it is not the comforts of the double portion. Varbūt tas nav komforts, vai dubūt tās sveitības. Some of you are standing here today. Kāds stāvat šeit? You've been struggling to follow God. You see that they sakot Dievam. Because others have been intimidating you. You see that you see biedē. You're afraid what if your friends make fun of you. Baidies par to, ka draugi tevi smēs. You're afraid what if your friends reject you. Tu baidies par to, ka draugi tevi atraidīs. You're afraid what if your family pushes you away. Tu baidies, ja nu tavu ģimeni tevi atstumta. I want you to know right now. Es gribu, lai tu zini tagad. Talk to God. Runā ar Dievu. The Bible says. Bible saka. Call unto me. Sauc uz mani. And I will answer you. Un es atbildēšu tev. I will answer you. Es atbildēšu tev. The Lord says I will answer you. Tu saki tas atbildēšu tev. I will answer you. Es atbildēšu tev. I will answer you. Es atbildēšu tev. And I will show you great and awesome things. Es tev parādīšu lielus un varētu. That you have not seen. Tu vēl neesi redzējis. Right now the spirit of fear is breaking in many people's lives. Vai gars tik salnos par daudz cilvēku dzīvē. The fear of intimidation from other people. Iebiedēšana no daudziem cilvēkiem tik. The fear of intimidation from other people. Bailes no no tās iebiedēšanas. The Lord says this is a new beginning for your life. Tu sāks jaunu sākums tavai dzīvē. Oh, just go ahead and commit your life to God right now. If you're saying, God, if you can use anything, Lord, I want you to use me, God. I want you to use me, God. Oh, the Lord is just touching you right now. I rebuke the spirit of fear right now. I rebuke the spirit of fear right now. And I pray, Lord, a spirit of faith to rise up right now. Wherever they are, let faith arise. Let faith arise. Let faith arise. Let faith arise. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, the Lord is just stirring your hearts right now. Some of you, your hearts are getting stirred by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right, right now, wherever you are. For some of you, it's not intimidation. It's not intimidation. For some of you, it's the love of your loved ones. Or the families that you love. The families that love you. Right now, the Lord is saying, If, if you if you if you don't love me more than your family it's a meal name you man vairāk kā savu ģimeni you're not worthy of the call of god nes cienīgs tie vai lord is reaching out to you right now there are Tagad. people right now wherever you are it's cilvēki tur kur tu esi oh they'll just rededicate your families to god vienkārši no jauna no savas ģimenes and just tell ģimenes. the lord sak kungs shepherd of my soul Manas dvēseles, I give you full control. Es vadot pilnu kontroli. Wherever you may lead me. Vai nav kur tu man vadīs? I will follow you. Es sakošu tev. Oh, just dedicate your life to God. Vēl tas savu dzīvi Dievam. Just commit your families to God. Nodos savu ģimenes Dievam. And tell the Lord. Sak kungam. Lord God, whether nobody goes with me. Kungs Dievs, vai neviens neiet ar mani. I am still going to go. Es vēl projām iešu. I am still going to serve you. Es vēl kalpošu. I am going to honor you. Es godāšu. Lord, if nobody goes with me. Kungs, vai neviens neiet ar mani. The love of my loved ones are not going to stop me. Manu mīļoto mīlestību neapturēs. And maybe for some of you. Kādiem no jums? It is not even that. I want to tell you. Shinai zip topat tagad. Do not be afraid. Ne by this. The Lord says. Kungs saka. I've called you from an everlasting love. This is my eyes nice of nebeids of milstib. Even if men of God have hurt you. The Lord, the Lord would say to you today. Kungs saka šodien. Don't be afraid. Ne by this. It is I who have called you. Es te vaicu. It is I who have called you. Es te sasmu, kas te vaicu. The Lord is setting some of you apart this morning. Oh, I just sense an anointing upon this place. Šo Dievs svaidīm šai vietā. So the Lord is just setting some of you apart right now. Something is happening in your spirit right now. Oh, 
the Lord is just stirring something in your spirit. That brother over there right now. This brows is to stop. Standing right there with your hands up over there. The Lord is saying, I'm giving you a spirit of boldness. The spirit of boldness coming upon you right now. A spirit of boldness. Just receive that boldness. That you'll not be afraid. I rebuke a spirit of fear. Lord, stir his heart right now. That he'll not be afraid of running after you, God. That, he, that you have seen him from the foundation of the earth. That you're setting him apart for mighty things, God. Let him not be afraid of God. Oh, the Holy Spirit is just moving right now. Just get hungry for a touch of God right now. God is pouring out an anointing right now. You don't have to wait for me. The Lord is just reaching out to you. Oh, there is a spirit of worship that is arising in your hearts today. You know that person right there in the back holding their hands up right over there. I just see the, the anointing of worship just coming upon you. The Lord God is saying he's just pouring out a fresh anointing. Oh, just receive that anointing by the power of God. Oh, as you're reaching out to God today. As you're reaching out to God today. A spirit of faith is arising in your heart. Some of you need faith. Some of you are saying, God, if you can increase my faith. Oh, a spirit of faith being released right now. The Lord is saying, don't be afraid. I'm releasing a new faith into your heart that you can believe me when I speak to you that a new intimacy will rise in your spirit oh Lord I just pray you release a spirit of faith right now upon their hearts that there will be a burden for nations oh God Lord I pray the young people that have gathered here it is my prayer they will be history makers that you will raise a burden for nations you will raise a burden for nations today. Not by might. Not by power. But by the Holy Spirit. This mountain shall be removed. Oh, hallelujah. 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 There are some people here, the Lord is saying. You, you've been hurt by men of God. You've been hurt by leaders. You've been hurt when you sincerely wanted to walk with God. Some of you have been hurt by men of God. I want only such people right now to lift your hands up. Many of you that have been, you know, don't want to pursue the ministry because of the pain in the ministry. I want only such people to hold their hands up right now. My dear brothers and sisters, many years ago, I was in your place. They told me, they told me that all these men of God are cheats and liars. And they said, you know, don't go after the ministry. I had a choice whether to be bitter or to be better. And I made a choice to be better. And as a result, today God has sent me specifically even with a ministry to men of God. One of the greatest burdens of my heart is to reach out to men of God. Nothing in your life has happened by accident. Nothing in your life has happened by accident. Everything has been, has been a training of God. And Father, I pray that a spirit of wisdom will be released upon these people. I pray you do a deep healing in their heart, oh God. Take out the pain, oh God, from their heart. Let them release that pain to you right now. Wherever they are right now in this place, release them from that pain. Set them free right now. Oh God, Use them to raise mighty men and women of God in the coming generation. One life we have. We want to live it for you, O God. And so release that burden and heart for people. I thank you for their lives. Every saint, hold your hand up right now. Everybody lift your hands up. Oh. I exalt Thee, I exalt Thee, I 
That's right. Go ahead and worship him. As they think I a feel. I exalt it. I, I exalt you to all times. They'll bow to the feel. Worship you, Jesus. Yes. I exalt oh. Father, it is my prayer that you will pour out a fresh anointing upon your people. That Lord, these coming days, there will be a boldness to obey your word. There will be a boldness to obey your word. There will be a boldness to obey your word. That a fear of God will be in their heart of God. That no matter who goes after you, whether people follow you or not, raise up a history maker generation. Raise up strong, mighty men and women of God in this Raise up people that are passionate for the gospel. And Father, I pray you stir up right now in this spirit. A spirit of faith. And a spirit of boldness. That they will arise, O oh God. And they will go into the next level of what you've called them for. I give you all the glory, all the honor. I give you all the power and the praise. Because you are a mighty God. In Jesus' name. Everybody said a loud amen. 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 Hallelujah.